Good morning and welcome to Batumi, where we sit in our fancy spliffy SK-60B. Now this is of course the training aircraft for the Swedish Air Force and it has been so since the 60s with a few friends, competitors and stuff like that along the way. And hello back to you pilots, because we are going to take this little bird for a ride. Uh, I w must admit that I was worried that I wouldn't be able to try this, because in Sweden we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. We watch Donald Duck, we eat food, we give presents, and yes, I'm not kidding about that Donald Duck thing. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. We have... Uh, a fixed set schedule, but that schedule for most families doesn't begin until about lunchtime. And depending on where you are, some people do the presents first, some people do the lunch first. In my family, it's always been like first we do the Christmas lunch, then it's the little duck, and then we bring out the Christmas candy, and then we have uh, the presents. And some people do it, other, yeah. Uh, but this is a really neat little Christmas present. Uh, well, w w a little bit of a friendly accomplice to one of the Christmas friend uh, presents I got from uh, my co-squadron founder Airfix this morning, uh, which was the S Pilot Replicas SK-60B in 1 to 48 scale. But you didn't really come here to hear me reminisce about Christmas uh, schedules and stuff like that. You came to see me fly the SK-60B. Now, for you who have followed me for a long time, and I don't really know how many of how many of you there are, uh, you will know that I once offered a modification called the Scandinavian Front. We had a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of Swedish aircraft aircraft from 1950s onwards, and the SK-60 and the Viggen were some of the last ones to be added before I abandoned the project, mostly because I felt that modding that project didn't give me enough time to actually, you know, just enjoy flying. And that's when I got into DCS, and now I let others do the modding for me, which is a much more nicer approach to things. I can focus on the things that I like, such as flying and making missions. So the SK-60, uh, you need to bind up your controls before everything else. This will be a little bit of a hassle. It took me about five minutes to get it done to the point where I feel I might actually be capable in this thing. And just because I said that, just because I said I think everything is done, uh, that means, yeah, uh, War Thunder like logic. Yeah, there's a there, there's a little bit of gems hidden in the control options as well, but uh, we are uh, going to since flaps is already bound to F. I'm just gonna leave it there. I was going to bind it to my Hotas. Uh, I have a lot of different modules. I think only out of the jet ones, the only one I don't have is the MiG-15. And that is because I don't like how the guns work on the Soviet fighters. Otherwise I would have gotten the MiG-15 in a heartbeat. It's only that the F-86 is pretty much the same thing and much easier to fly. So, what I do when I have a ton of different modules, I standardize my control layout. It doesn't matter if it makes sense for the aircraft in question or not, I standardize that shit out of it. And uh, it works. It tr truly does. So one thing we haven't really bound right now is the extra accessory uh, screen that will allow us to mount a gun sight here, but we are just going to take this bird for a little bit of a spin right now and see how she flies. Uh, we do ha we're in my personal training mission, which has unlimited ammo for these 
nice attack rockets. But we're ju just basically here to uh, find out how she flies, have some fun with it, and I don't know if we're gonna fire the rockets the fir first time out, but from the get-go she, like most other trainers, is a pretty easy ride. And uh, you, you don't really need to think all that much about flying her. As long as you can fly an aircraft, then you can fly this aircraft. And just like with many other aircraft, the things you have to take into consideration are stuff like don't fly with full throttle all the time, make sure to watch your trim, uh, keep everything, uh, keep your plane level. It's basic stuff, and she, so far it's a very forgiving aircraft to fly, especially since, as of the release model, there is actually not a damaged model yet, so landings are probably gonna be very simple, or so I hope. So, right now we have the beautiful winter landscape of Batumi below us, we are going to take one circle here while we check out the options. Uh, we do have a very nice aircraft. Looking outside, the 3D model is just superb. I really like what I've done with it. Apparently this has been an on and off project for like three years, so they've really done their stuff in Let's see, that seems to be radio buttons, that is also radio button. Here we have a GPS, which for these trainers is going to be a, an absolute lovely thing. I don't know if the weapons will simply fire if you just push the button or the, if you have to go via a panel first. But overlooking this cockpit, you pretty much see everything you want to see um, quickly and like you have main power, engine start, uh, fuel I haven't actually tried to start this thing manually yet and that is because I am a coward who basically just uses auto start or uh, or automatically started aircraft all the time and I doubt that that particular habit is going to change. And what's very interesting about the SK-60 mod is that actually that people who want to try TCS, I mean, you don't actually need to pay anything for it. Uh, you can download DCS, you can get the mod, you can just... You can do that right now, you don't have to watch this video. You can just download the mod, you can enjoy enjoy the mod and you can have fun with it so we're gonna aim at a mountaintop ahead and we're gonna see if the weapons no there's something else we need to do with the weapons but we don't need to bother with that right now if they don't if we don't have that online right now then we don't need to have it at the moment uh, she's very sensitive in the turns, um, but that's also kind of what I expect from a trainer. But it also makes for some really nice flying, such as just doing a break down in this valley. We can slow her down a bit, because I'm actually going to use this to turn her into the Batumi landing pattern. But yeah, I I enjoy this plane. It's simple to fly. It's it's a Swedish bird, and of course I'm Swedish myself, so that's always fun. And uh, we are what we are going to do is we're gonna turn the, uh, set her down on Batumi. We are going to uh, see what we can find in terms of. Uh, more options and maybe even if we can get the weapons online and uh, that will probably be for the next video I'll just let this one be the first flight one 
So as we come into landing here, we are going to just increase speed by a trifle because we are currently a bit low. And uh, once we close in on the airport, we can uh, lower our landing gear and flaps. Now the bird also has two air brakes, but I don't really want to be the person who has to use them at this time. So, gear down, flaps down. I don't really know if the... the flap seems to be cycling, so the first button press will put them into takeoff mode, the second one will retract them, and the third press will put them into landing mode, and I can only guess that the fourth press will retract them again or put them into... Ooh, we got we got tons of drag there. We re re really got tons... Ooh, no, the, the stick is... <laughs> oh! Yeah, so the airplane basically lacks a damage model, but what happened there was that I got so much drag onto the aircraft that sh we basically just fell out of the sky. Not enough engine power, a lot of drag, and the... It's a bit hard to explain, but you heard a lot of shaking uh, or a rattling sound. And this is actually a device that will hit your fingers. The stick will hit your fingers if you're stalling. Basically, the plane will smack you for stalling. And this is a really nice detail by the developers. Uh, and I'm actually glad having stalled out on the airplane just because seeing that feature just makes me happy that is attention to detail and i'm so happy for it